All right, guys, sandalwood, 10 of them, plus one honorable mention, which is not really using sandalwood, but it's synthetic. That's what I'm talking about today. If you're curious, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today I'm talking about sandalwood. I've got 10 fragrances here from different houses that focuses on sandalwood. Plus I've got one fragrance, which is an honorable mention, which is actually using a synthetic molecule to replicate the smell of sandalwood, which happens to be one of my favorites. So I'm gonna to talk to you about this particular note in perfumery, but before we do that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I'm trying a little bit of different things with my lights here recently. I'm going to start wearing glasses here on video very soon, but I cannot stand seeing reflection on glasses. So I've got to move, uh, move, move things around just to see. So I'm testing my lighting a little differently. So if you've noticed my lighting to be a little different, it's because I'm doing some testing here. Anyway, today I'm talking about sandalwood fragrances. And the reason I'm doing these 10 awesome video uh, series fragrances is because as I said, a lot of you are complaining about the length of my top 20 lists. A lot of you said don't want a variety of 20 fragrances. You'd rather have a top 10. So I've done a lot of top 20s. I'm going to continue doing them. But from all the top 20s I've done, I'm going to do top 10s. And also throw in some stuff that's new that was not featured on the top 20s and so on. So today, as I said, I'm talking about sandalwood fragrances. And we'll start off right away with that synthetic one that I'm obsessed with that I keep talking to you guys about. It's part of the Eccentric Molecule series and it's Molecule 4, this one right here. So this one, as I said, is part of the Eccentric Molecules. It's Molecule 4. It has a counterpart of Eccentric 4, which takes the note in here, which is only Javanol. Javanol is a synthetic molecule that smells like sandalwood. And I love sandalwood. Sandalwood happens to be very, very creamy, milky, woody note. And they take that, they take that note and make it into an actual perfume with other notes that work well with that Javanol note. But here, on its own, it's a minimalistic, simplistic, woody fragrance focusing on Javanol, which smells like sa sandalwood and that creamy sandalwood note that uh, I tend to love. So if you want something like that, it's, 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 a, it's a minimalistic note, as I said. And these fragrances from Eccentric Mall, because I've spoken a lot about the fact that you can be anosmic to them before, uh, when you start wearing, first start wearing them, some people are not, I am. I was anosmic to this, so it took me a little while to learn the smell, and finally I enjoyed it. And I love this one. This is one of my favorites. And I'm throwing it in as an honorable mention, because as I said, it does not use the note of sandalwood. It's Javanol, but it smells like sandalwood. Anyway, this is Molecule 4. That'll start things off for us. We're gonna go to this most popular fragrance from the house of Le Labo. Le Labo is a, I guess, I'm not sure if it's a very popular uh, house, but the fragrance itself is very popular and I smell it on people and a lot of people say that you, they, they smell it everywhere as well. It's, I guess, a, a hip, hipster kind of a popular fragrance. Santal 33 from Le Labo. So this one was the strangest sandalwood smell to me. Typically, I associate sandalwood with that very creamy uh, quality, but in, in Santal 33, it is not that. It's more dry, it's almost more wood chippings, um, that kind of an experience, so you're actually smelling dustiness. But it's not only about sandalwood either. There's loads of papyrus in here, leather, cedar, violet, cardamom. So in the end, it's a kind of a dry, dusty, non-creamy variety of sandalwood that I guess people tend to love because this fragrance I feel like now has been emulated and a lot of people have copied it and um, probably you know, got us to appreciate this note of sandalwood. But to me, it doesn't smell anything like Javanol in Molecule 4 because as I said, this is a creamy sandalwood. This one does not act creamy whatsoever. And as I said, it's quite dry. There's also, when you smell it, there's a kind of a laundry fresh quality to it. And also there's cucumbers. I get cucumbers here. I don't know if you guys get it too, but there's a crunchiness about it. Anyway, Le Labo Santal 33. It's a love it or hate it fragrance for me. A lot of people always tell me to get it. I finally did last year, and here I am talking to you about it. So this next one is a fragrance from the house of Frederick Mall. This is Dries Van Noten, this one right here. So this is a sandalwood f uh, fragrance that goes into the oriental direction. And oriental meaning usually has amber notes, 
or vanilla, things like that. And this one has a big dose of vanilla. Now this sandalwood in this does have the creaminess. It's also very spicy. And there is a bit of a, um, uh, what do you call it, um, milky quality. I, so I pick up almost like a medicinal milk in here. It's still sandalwood, but it, it's just a very unique concoction for sandalwood. No, I shouldn't say the word unique because I do get that milky spiciness. This almost almost smells like there's uh, ambrette seeds in it. There's a little bit of that ambrette medicinal quality to it, but I feel like it's not the ambrette. It's just a, a, a kind of a, synth not synthetic, but medicinal uh, sandalwood quality thrown in here. In the end, it's it's a great scent from uh, Frederick Mall. I like this one, and I, I have featured it in the top 20 recently. I had shot with Dahlia that I still have not aired, soon to be uh, aired. You'll find out where this landed on that list. But it's a Frederick Mall-esque fragrance. It's big and it's beefy. So if you like your fragrances big, definitely try Dries Van Noten. Um, it's focusing on sandalwood from the house of Frederick Mall. Now this next one is from the house of Paris Monte Carlo. I have a full review of this one. And this is a really beautiful, slightly musky skin... Um, I guess I should say subdued quality of sandalwood. It's just a really, really phenomenal smell. It smells very, very creamy. It smells very, very musky, milky, and slightly floral sandalwood. This is Santal du Pacifique. This has uh, this version in Eau de Parfum, and there is also an extract version, which is actually even milkier. But for me, this one is a, more of a subdued variety. And when I say subdued variety, it's, it's authentic. It smells like sandalwood, but it's closer to the skin. Skin. almost acts like a musk to me, like sandalwood musk. Um, so musks tend to generally be skin scents to me. It, it performs like that, but you're actually smelling sandalwood with slight touches of muskiness and some floral notes and things like that. This one's actually really, really good. If you like the authentic sandalwood, nothing but, as I said, there's not a lot going on with it. It's mostly sandalwood with light muskiness and light hints of floral notes then this is definitely one for you to try. This is Paris Monte Carlo Santal du Pacifique. And again, this is the Eau de Parfum. There is an extra version, which is a lot longer lasting, a lot more expensive, but it's phenomenal. So this next one, I've compared sometimes to Dries Van Noten from Frederick Mall, which I spoke to you about, but it is its own, own unique um, creation. I'm talking about Nishane's Ani, this one right here. And to me, this one is a, a vanilla sandalwood bomb. So almost seems like the vanilla is a little bit stronger than the sandalwood in here but then when I wear it the sandalwood is really really prominent and it's also got this really zingy uh, spicy ginger note thrown in but then there's also some uh, black currant uh, bergamot and uh, benzoin and cardamom it's an oriental fragrance after all here we go oriental uh, having similar stylings to this whereas this one doesn't go medicinal this one really goes medicinal but uh, in the end they're kind of uh, in that same ballpark of an oriental vanilla sandal wood fragrance but this one is so good guys it smells great wearing it it's amazing if you don't know Ani definitely check it out as I find it to be quite phenomenal it's one of my top um, three um, Nishane fragrances Ani is great and this one's created by Cecile Zorokian and it's a really really awesome performing fragrance all right this next one is from the house of Chanel and I'm sp speaking about Bois de Ile this one right here so Bois de Ile is a sandalwood fragrance in the style of Chanel fragrances. Yes, you have that Chanel DNA in here. It's so pr prominent. And, and recently somebody asked me, uh, on a, I was doing an Instagram live and they asked me which brands have a really standout uh, DNA and I told them Chanel is one of them and I also get the, the, the standout DNA from Tower Perfumes and I also mentioned Imaginary Authors because I can smell those, you know, the DNA of those brands very prominently. prominently. There are other brands out there, I'm just not, I'm drawing a blank with, where I smell them, but here with the DNA here, it's very, very prominent. Really, really prominent. But this one is a Chanel style DNA. It's not so creamy, it's not so powdery, it's almost like in the between. So you don't have lots of creaminess, you don't have um, like dry dustiness like the Lelabo. It's just in between. But this is this floral uh, Chanel like um, uh, sandalwood where you have lots of ylang ylang here. I feel like Chanel loves ylang ylang. Resins come in. There's a resinous quality. Um, I feel like it's benzoin, perhaps. Um, maybe myrrh. Those notes kind of, uh, there's a sweetness to it. There's vanilla here, and I feel like vanilla really works well with uh, sandalwood. It's just 
totally does. And of course, there's some tonka beans and woody notes. And as I said, I do pick up that Chanel DNA, almost like there's aldehydic notes in here, but it's not credited. Um, and it, it, when I put my nose to it, I, I immediately smell this like, you know, it's a Chanel, you know? It reminds you of other fragrances from the house, but this is their own unique concoction as far as a um, sandalwood fragrance goes. And this is, uh, it's wonderful fragrance. This is Chanel Bois de Ile, and uh, that is another one for you to try from the house of um, Chanel. I've been speaking a lot about Chanel lately. Hopefully you guys are fans of Chanel. And from Chanel, we go to a house called Metro Parfumé at Gantier, a sort of old house from um, Paris again. Um, Chanel's from Paris as well. And this is Santal Noble. I should hold it this way. Now this one I have a full review of. And this one is a very uh, musky sandalwood. To me, it's sandalwood and there's a little bit of like a castorium thrown in and castorium goes musky on me um, when I'm wearing it it does get musky um, anytime I, I, I see castorium listed it just tends to go musky on me and this one definitely does but it also has coffee there's oak moss there's incense and um, it's a very very unique sexy sandalwood uh, not necessarily overly creamy not necessarily overly dry and crunchy like the Santal 33 again it's like the Chanel it's in the between but this one doesn't get floral like the Chanel does and also this one's a lot more dense than the Chanel Chanel so, some of their fragrances are more beefy than others I feel like Bois the eel is not as beefy so and when you compare this this fragrance Santal Noble to Bois de Ile, this one has a lot more heft to it it's a lot more beefy but it doesn't have a lot of floral touches it's very very masculine and also as I said it's musky with that castorium note anyway Santal Noble from the house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier check that one out if you don't know it this next one is from the house Australian house of uh, Goldfield and Banks and this is white sandalwood so here we have a rosy aromatic and spicy take on sandalwood Again, here we don't have a creamy variety. We have a few more creamy variety of sandalwoods coming up. This is more dry and woody rather than like creamy, milky sandalwood. And as I said, it's aromatic. So there's some aromatic notes in here. Sa sa saffron is in here along with rose with the sandalwood. There's ambery touches here, but the spices come in from black pepper. And there's a little bit of um, aromatic touch from a thyme note in here as well. So in the end, it's another unique concoction from... Uh, an indie niche house out of Australia, but I wanted to provide a, um, an, a variety of different kinds of uh, sandalwood fragrances and of course some of the more popular ones. And this one doesn't get talked a lot about, but definitely worth discovering. So this is White Sandalwood from Goldfield and Banks. Going to another designer, and this one I was obsessed with when I did my uh, first impressions, this was a blind buy purchase. I bought four of their exclusive lineup of fragrances from the house of Dunhill. And this is, uh, I should uh, wipe that off. This is um, Indian Sandalwood. And the name is usually written on top there, if you can see on these fragrances. This one actually was a love at first sniff. It loved it. It's creamy, it's milky, but it's also slightly powdery and also uh, it has um, spiciness to it. So this one, um, I feel like it's one of my favorites from this. In fact, this is my favorite from the four and then I like the amber as well. Now this one has notes of sandalwood. There's orris, that's the iris, the orris. Uh, it kind of has this um, a powdery effect. This has cypriol note and this, as I mentioned, had papyrus. For me, they're very similar in smells, slight unique uh, touches, but the cypriol in here reminds me of the papyrus in here. Then there's a, a little bit of, um, what does it have? There's a more powdery elements that smells like iris. It's uh, called um, carrot seed. Of course, carrot seeds are very unique and irisy. Patchouli, bergamot, and oak moss. It's really awesome. I love the patchouli here, that earthy sparkliness against the creamy sandalwood and the powdery orris and carrot seed. I love this one. It smells really, really great. And I'm surprised that nobody's really talking about this collection, especially this particular fragrance. So this is Indian Sandalwood from Dunhill, another designer. We've got two designers on this list. Next, going to the, the kind of like the staple. Um, this is the sandalwood fragrance staple in the community. This is Tam Dao, this one right here. And Tam Dao, again, it's creamy. Uh, it's creamy, but then it smells also like wood chippings, um, almost like 
Zagorsk from Comme des Garçons because that fragrance has a very pencil shavings uh, smell and this one has not only sandalwood, the creamy sandalwood, slightly milky sandalwood, but also like this wood chippings of cedar in here. It's very cedary. There's amber wood, there's coriander for some spiciness. There is a, a bit of a, a vanilla thrown in. So there is that vanillic touch. I, I would call this a slight like an oriental woody fragrance. There's some zinginess from ginger, there's a little bit of musk and a slight Slight, like, slight, very light hint of citrusy lime note in here. Tam Dao is really, really awesome. I feel like the community does appreciate this one. They do like this one. It's also big. Uh, I used to compare this to By Killian's Sacred Wood, which is also sandalwood. It's discontinued now. Whereas that one is more like this one, uh, the Paris Monte Carlo's um, uh, Santal du Pacifique. It's more of like a, a musky skin scent. This one is actually a lot beefier, so it also has that unique um, pencil shavings kind of smell with the cedar. So that's Tam Dao. And last but not least, I'm leaving it the, the list off with one that I discovered late last year called Piano Santa from Le Orchestre Parfums. This one right here. So this one is a milky uh, sandalwood, but not only does it have a milky sandalwood note in here, they threw in milk to give it a more creaminess. So milk and sandalwood together you're almost having like a sandalwood soup that doesn't sound really yummy to taste or eat but that's what the experience is like it's like a um not porridge but like a rice pudding or something but in, in the sandalwood variety so cashmere uh, we've speak, spoken a lot about cashmere as well one of the molecules the latest one molecule five is cashmere so it's a woody ambery musky kind of a synthetic molecule that's prominent here white musk and a and broxin, a little bit spiciness of cumin i think this is a winner winner this actually is so comforting and cozy milk comforting it's a comforting note sandalwood milky com comforting with the milk i mean uh, combined with the milk it's actually really really lovely fragrance I i'm surprised at how good this is this is my favorite from this house and i love the way it smells because i love the cozy comforting fragrances especially these days when we're kind of like uncertain what's going on with the world and the whole pandemic when you wear a comforting fragrance it relaxes you and kind of like lets you forget what you're dealing with in the real world. Anyway, this is L'Orchestre Parfums Piano Santal. And if you don't know this brand, I did a video on this house, not on this house, 10 uh, undiscovered uh, niche houses or something like that. I can't remember the name. This is a uh, house from France, Paris, and their fragrances are all focusing on music and instruments. And this one's called obviously Piano Santal. This is it right here. Anyway, those are my 10 awesome sandalwood fragrances that I wanted you guys to know about with that one additional um, you know, honorable mention of the Molecule 4 that focuses on Javanol that smells like sandalwood. Anyway, those are my 11 fragrances. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances. Have you sampled them? Do you like them? Or do you not even like sandalwood as a note? And uh, if you do have a favorite that I did not cover here, there's so many out there, obviously I can't cover every single one of them. Let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. Especially since uh, if you have watched my top 20 ranked by Dahlia sandalwood fragrances video and this one now, and I still haven't mentioned it, do let me know what they are so that I can find out. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video today. If you like this idea and theme of 10 awesome certain fragrances, let me know, I'll do more. I'm gonna continue doing more, but if you have any ideas of any specific ones, let me know. And also I wanna still go back to focusing on the alternatives videos as well, where I give you five alternatives of a particular fragrance. So if you have any ideas, let me know, put some comments down. If you have any questions, you can also send me to lfsgquestions at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching today. Please do like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>